Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn how to create a new watch list or portfolio and set up an alert log in Hammerlight. First, click on New Portfolio from the dashboard and choose New Watch List. The new watch list will be created and will appear empty. Don't forget to link it with the same color as other windows. You can easily add symbols to the watch list by typing them or copying and pasting them from any file where you have saved stock symbols. You can also customize the columns in the watch list by right clicking on the columns and selecting column chooser, which will bring up a new window with all available options for columns. You can select any of them by dragging them into the watch list. To rename your watch list, click on the edit portfolios icon in the upper left corner. Next, I will show you how to add an alert log and how to use it. Click on the alert log from the dashboard and it will pop up. Then click on alert editor and you can set up which alert you want to show in the alert log. The first step is to add a new portfolio, single symbol, multi-symbol, global, or trade fills alert. In this video, I will demonstrate a portfolio alert. Choose portfolio alert and select the watch list that is open and has stock symbols inside from the drop down menu. Then choose the alert from the alert type drop down menu. I will select daily high and low. From the conditions tab, you can choose which parameters you want to be visible high or low, only high, only low. I will keep it high or low to monitor both options. For the price option, I will keep it as the last price. So, in this case, it will alert me when the last price hits either the low or high. In the Notifications tab, you have many options for the triggered alert time, clearing the alert after some time, pop-up alert, and highlight row colors for up and down. I will set my individual settings for this type of alert. In the Notes slash Speech tab, you can add a filter for your alert log. So, in this case, you can use two different alert log windows and add the filter to them from the main menu description field. Thank you for watching. 